Well, Anthony, Essex lose their first game in 22 championship and Bob Willis trophy matches. Um, just your reflections on that particular game against Warwickshire. Um, yeah, obviously disappointed. Look, we haven't lost, as uh, we alluded to, for a long time. So, um, you know, it's uh, a bit of a strange feeling. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to take too much away from Warwickshire because I thought they played superbly well. And um, even though we were disappointed with our third innings uh, with the bat, um, to chase, you know, score down on the fourth innings uh, against our attack is a great effort. And, um, you know, I think congratulations uh, to, to Warwickshire. The Essex boys, though, um, as that track got flatter and flatter, uh, runs became easier. But credit to them for that because they've taken it down to, I think, eight balls to spare at the end for Warwickshire. Um, you can say a very well paced innings by Warwickshire, which it was, but tight control and line and length by our boys. Yeah, and look, I don't want to be uh, too harsh either because they've uh, you know, been, been fantastic over the last few years. and. Um, yeah, I suppose you're going to lose at some point, but you see the fight and effort all the way to the end. Even though when you know it looked like we'd we'd no chance, we were scrapping right to the last ball. Um, and again, you know, with the back yesterday, we were dead and buried at 35 for five, but we, we scrapped back and to to come away with 250 odds to set them. You know, we've uh, you know that spirit's there in abundance. But um, look, we've got to dust ourselves down. Um, you know, we. We uh, had a scare last week against Durham and we didn't get punished this week, we did. So um, we've got a few things to address, but um, you know, far from disappointed with the guys, we'll, we'll come back strong for, for Worcester this week. Yeah, I think we talked the other day, um, quite content in one respect, that the batters were all putting together scores, um, but the problem with head, but they weren't putting them together at the same time. <laughs> from the coaching perspective, you just think and... Uh, expect that at some stage that will all come together yeah it's been a funny one with the backs we batted so well against Worcester posted a big score um, and then we've just been finding silly ways of getting out really and, you know no one's out of nick everyone's posted some kind of score we've just not really been clinical and got them big partnerships um, certainly in the first innings against Durham and, and uh, in this match here so um, yeah more of a mental thing really uh, as I say the the um, the batters have got start. We just need someone to go on and get a big hundred and, and bat around that, really. So, um, you know, back to some uh, some basics. And come thick and fast off to New Road on Thursday against Worcestershire. We've already had a taste of seeing what they can perform like. Um, but I guess that setback, um, as I say, is only the first one in 22 games. So I think it has to be put into spe- perspective. Uh, but it just give an extra edge to the boys. When they, I know they always go out and win every game. But, uh, you know, there'll be a few... A few uh, matters of pride hurt in there, I would suggest. Without doubt, yeah. I mean, look, any time you lose a game, but in this format, as I say, we've not been used to tasting defeat. So, um, you know, it's uh, it's one where the, the guys will be down. We're very proud of our record in, in Red Ball. So, um, the the aim now is to go on another run, you know, another hopefully long run unbeaten um, and get back to playing our best cricket. But I think, you know, look, the guys have fought. We know the class we've got in our team. We took it right down to the end, and um, you know we'll we'll be coming out fighting, as I say, when we get to a couple of clubs. Well, to underline that point, I mean, <laughs> there can't be many occasions when Peter Siddle and Simon Harmer bowl so many overs and don't take a single wicket. I think just underlines how benign that pitch became at the end, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But look, I say, you know, credit to Warwickshire to chase 250 odd there. Um, on the last day, and even though it was a good pitch, you've still got to get them. And against our attack, you know we we're uh, we're normally so good in that fourth innings. But sometimes, you know, you've got to take your medicine. You've got to doff your hat to the opposition. And um, you know, I, I've not got too many uh, complaints today.